I'm surrounded by motorcycles every day. I have legend, legend signing my checks. Um, it's, I was in heaven. I was in heaven. My thing to you is what were some of the challenges that you encountered? Because I, I, I did notice that you had some friction where you would go to events where you were representing a booth, right? You're, you, you're representing that, that brand. Of course, they're known. And people were constantly mistaking you for a security guard or something like that. And to some people, I think they would probably get frustrated to some degree. But the way I saw your story arc is that you took that as stride and use it as a way to say, hey, I'm not what you expect. And you didn't have a negative reaction. So tell me about that. Look, it, it's a, it, you, sometimes the best reaction is no reaction. Okay. Sometimes the best reaction is no reaction. Sometimes you have to be the watcher. Sometimes you have to be the listener. Um, and sometimes the very last thing that you do is react. Sometimes if you don't do anything, it kind of, things kind of take care of themselves. Okay, that's saying if you give somebody enough rope, you know, dot, dot, dot. Um, working for the Farachi family would send me to be part of like, say, you know, for like IMS was the show at the time or other events where there were booths. And it was a lot of who let you into the gated community vibes. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That is what was, it was by, honestly, I didn't feel that from other people in the industry. People were like, oh, that's cool. Araldo hired somebody that can actually do work. You understand what I'm saying? Look, yeah. So from the industry point of view, it was kind of like, oh, great, good for Araldo. He's got somebody that's, you know, that's really going to help move things along. But it was from a lot of the customer base uh, that that client, that certain level, that certain elk of clientele, they were very, they were very stern there. Does that make sense? Basically, the, they're not uh, accustomed to change, something I, I different. I, yeah, I can't remember how many times someone's asked me uh, which bike was mine, and I told them, and, you know, and they were, the response was, oh, I thought you would ride a Busa, or I thought you would ride something else. And it was kind of like, what's the point of even saying that? Like, does, you know what I mean? It's like, I just told you. <laughs> That's my bike. Why are you bring, Why are you telling me that you thought I would ride something else? As if to lead me into say, well, why would you think that? And so going back yeah. to not reacting, I wouldn't react and I wouldn't say anything. Like I just told you what my bike was. There's no need for me to repeat myself. Or I, you just told me everything about you. Enjoy yourself. Have a good day.